Hello friends, this is Jackie from Keep It Simple Stickers and we are here today to watch, for you to watch, for me to film and record my very first rewind plan with me since revamping my channel last week. Um, let's see, I am, I'm just gonna preface this, with I am a bit behind on my rewinds. Um, but I thought that if people were interested, I would do this one and then, um, we can kind of go from there. And if people enjoy them, then I'll continue doing them and slowly get caught back up. Um, or if not, then this might be the only one. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the week that I'm going to be rewind planning is the week of June 11th through the 17th. So the I believe that that's the week before Father's Day. And the kit that I'm going to be using is this kit from, I believe it's Brandy's shop. Um, so I'll go through it really quick. I got it on a really good sale. She does a lot of good sales. I'll link her shop below. I think she's since rebranded to her own standalone site. Um, so whatever I find, I will link below for you. So I kind of did the a la carte option, which I think is how her shop is mainly set up. So I got the full boxes. I don't know what this is called. I wanna say something sunset perhaps. I got the various mixed boxes, so eight half, four three heart ombres, the quarter boxes. I got the functional sheet, so it's got the the heart flag checklists, the weeklies, um, a tracker, bill do flags, um, all your icons, some dots, um, a couple script, and some colored icons. I've got the ombres. And then I have the washi sheet. So it's got your two large pieces of washi and then a whole bunch of solid colored or patterned washi strips. All right, so that's the kit. I'm also gonna be using a whole bunch of various stickers. I have my stack over here off the frame. And then um, I'm also going to be using some pictures that I or my husband took and then um, I put them into my Silhouette software and then I printed and cut them. So I'm going to be using this one, this one, and this one, these three this week. So I'll scatter them throughout um, my spread as you will see. The inserts that I'm going to be using and that I have been using all of 2018 are from So Much Crafting. And then I believe it's called Week on Four Pages. So it's meant for a personal planner as you can see. Um, and it's multiple pages. So one, two, three, four. Um, you can kind of set it up like an Erin Condren. I've seen people do that and use it very functionally. But how I do my rewinds is I'm a, a journal scrapbook kind of rewind person. Um, so that's why I do have the pictures and you'll see a lot of open space that I use to journal. I'm not gonna journal on camera with you here. I'm just gonna lay down the stickers and I'll tell you kind of what happened throughout the week. Um, but um, that's kind of how I do it. So if you're interested in this rewind, this very first rewind, then just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the sidebar and um, what I did, I've done a rewind with Brandy's shop stickers before, and as you might have seen, I do not have any headers. So what I'm going to use them as, as I'm actually going to use this washi as headers. They're all about the same size, if I, if I could guess to me. So we're just going to go ahead and start. And I, I honestly, y'all, I'm filming this early July. Like I said, I'm behind. But since school has gotten out, I've been definitely getting more so caught up um, which is good because I'd love to get caught up before our son is born it would just make things very very good for me so um, I usually start with some sort of picture and then I'll put a flag down and so I'm gonna pick one of these flags here 
brown. It's a eggplant purple. And I'll write the date inside the flag and then I'll just kind of journal what's going on here in this section. And what I do every night, y'all, is in my phone, I'll like put some notes down and then I will memory plan, especially because I have been so behind. I don't know. But we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start with Monday. Sidebar, it, that's pretty much what I'll do is I'll just leave it like that. I don't um, do like any sort of weekly or daily habit tracker. I just go ahead and get going. All right, so on Monday of this week, I'm going to put an ombre down. I'm going to put this, li this light lilac color. And I went shopping on this Monday to get a few gifts for my sister who actually got married the following week. So I actually went up to Target and to Mark Target. I'm going to be using these Target Bullseye stickers from a shop called With Love from KT. And I think I'm going to use... Hmm, I think I might use this cream color. Yeah, I'm gonna use the cream color. So first I went to Target, and I'll probably, when I end up journaling, I'll probably write like to buy or shop or etc. And then I also, I went over to Michael's, so I'm gonna be using these Michael's stickers from Ohana Story, little character stickers. And um, let's see. Put this one here. So I'll write like Target and what I bought and then what I bought at Michael's. And then let's see. On Monday, I also had a doctor's appointment and I'm going to be using these little emojis from my shop. And the reason that I'm using them uh, is because, here I'm going to hold on to this real quick. The reason that I'm going to be using them is because we had a ultrasound done. This is a little 3D ultrasound. I'm going to hold on to this. And our little son is measuring, at that time, two weeks ahead. So, <laughs> kind of crazy. So I'm actually going to put that... Um, information here in a half box and I'll put the ultrasound picture you'll see me do that in a couple of minutes so I'm gonna use this flamingo I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna put the little emoji right here kind of crazy y'all kind of crazy and then I'm gonna finish let's see what else do I get for Monday Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to finish quite yet. I'm not going to finish quite yet. I was going to finish Monday up with a full box, but we won't do that quite yet. Um, my daughter had a sleepover with her grandparents so the night before, so I'm going to mark that we went and we picked her up. And I'm going to use a quarter box for that. We'll use this light pink. We went and picked up my little munchkin. And I'm gonna use these character stickers from my shop, Keep It Simple Stickers. Put it right here. Actually, you know what? What I wanna do before I lay this down is I wanna mark that we had our very first ever, we actually didn't have it with my daughter, 3D ultrasound. And I have these um, stickers from Amber's Design Studio. However, um, she's not open. I actually got these stickers a long time ago um, when she was closing. So I wanted to mark that because it was pretty exciting. I never had one with my daughter because I didn't have these um, same complications with her. So it was it was kind of cool to be able to do that. And then before I put 
my little character sticker down. Uh, let's see, I want to mark that we have tacos for dinner. So I'm going to use another little flag. And let's use this orange color. Put it here. And then I pulled these taco stickers from my shop. We're going to put the tacos here. I think I am going to reformat those because those tacos are big. Not that I have a problem with big tacos. And then we'll put that down. Oh, do y'all hear those fireworks? It's the 4th of July when I'm filming this. All right. And I don't, yep. Yeah. I think that that, I think that might be it. So we'll finish this with a full box and I'm gonna have to trim it. So let's go ahead and let's pull this one here. Actually, you know what? I could lift this up very carefully. Instead of having to trim it, just put it in here like so and that is a perfect perfect fit there we go so that is Monday when I do my um, when I do my rewind I am no white space typically except for any sort of journaling. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to lay down a couple of more headers for Tuesday and Wednesday. And this is where I'll put the ultrasound picture of our son. So I'll just get these laid down. And then let's see, it should, I've done this before. So it should fit yeah, pretty nicely. And so usually I just take regular old, nothing fancy, scotch tape. Mm-hmm. So we'll just put one. Here. It's kind of curled up. I should have should have um, flattened it as best I could before I laid it down. I'll need a couple more pieces. All right, so we'll put one here. Put one here. And we'll put one here and like wrap it around. It's clear scotch tape, y'all, so it's not a big deal. I don't even know if you can see that in the frame. All right, so Tuesday, I've got post-it notes and a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. All right, so for Tuesday, I had to work. Nothing exciting. This was actually my last week of work, so that was good. And I'm gonna pull another ombre. And I think I'm going to do the orange. I'm just going to tuck it right up under the ultrasound picture. Just cover as much as that scotch tape up as possible. And then this work is a script sticker, again, from my shop. And I will link all of the shops below for you guys, girls, ma'ams, and sirs. And let's see, then I had to go to um, Staples for some paper. I was working on a project for my sister who got married. Um, so I had to get some paper for her. And then when I got home, my husband and I and our daughter, we did all kinds of chores, y'all. We just did chore after chore after chore. Um, so I'm going to use these from So Cute Planner. I'm going to do the clean and dust. 
because that is what we did. I'm going to pop it right here in the middle of that ombre. We also did dishes, but I don't think I'm going to mark that enough. You don't need, you don't really need to mark dishes in a memory planner, do you? I mean, you can. There's no, there's no rules in planning. Um, and then I spent some time talking on the phone with one of my really good friends, one of my really good planner friends, Caitlin. Um, so I'm going to mark that with a half box. And I'm going to use these little best friend stickers um, as well as, let me think, I thought I saw a phone, yep, a phone icon from the kit. So I'm going to put this in the corner here and then I'm going to use, I wanted to use the large ones. So I'm going to put it here and then I'll write in talk with Caitlin. So that was really fun. And let's see, at the end of the evening, I worked on responding to some thank you cards. I right, worked on writing thank you cards um, because I had a sprinkle last week at work. So again, from Amber's Design Studio, I'm going to use this send thank you cards sticker. And that is Tuesday. This area here, I will use washi, um, but I'm just gonna wait until the end. So don't think that I've forgotten. I have not forgotten, I promise. I promise y'all. All right, let's see. Wednesday, I'm going to start the day off with a movie marquee, okay? And this is from the Planning Queen. Make sure I'm in frame, y'all. This is from the Planning Queen. And I think I was going to use either one of these two at the bottom. I want to use, I think, this purple color. I think that's really pretty. And the reason that I'm doing that is because um, my coworkers and I we went out to lunch. And as a teacher, we don't hardly ever get to go out to lunch. So that deserves, that deserves a movie marquee. I'm gonna use a full box now. And I think I wanna use the boat here. And let's plop that in there. And what I did when I got home, is I was working on that project for my sister um, and I was just printing and cutting like till real late so I'm gonna put that on a half box and I think I might use this purpley color so what I was working on in case you're interested is I was working on um, these day of cards she kind of had a destination wedding um, and I'm using for my print, um, this printable from Paper and Gumption, and I think I wanted to use the orange. So I want to use the lighter orange or the darker orange, or maybe even this, this one here. Let's use this one. Um, and so her wedding planner suggested that, um, we get these day of cards because there was so many people coming from out of town and these little silhouettes that I'm using are from Jim's design studio. Um, there were so many people who were coming from out of town that it would be helpful to have um, these day of cards, so the day of the wedding, like where people needed to be, etc., etc. Um, so my husband who does all of our hand drawings for our shop, he did all these little pictures for it and then um, I created the design. So I was printing and cutting, I needed to ship them that day. All right, so this is Tuesday and Wednesday, so we're gonna flip it over and start Thursday, Friday. All right, so here we are on Thursday, Friday. Let's go ahead and put a couple more headers at the top. 
we'll do the purple. I really love um, Brandy Shaps kits. They're very affordable. They're matte paper, which I prefer. They're very um, easy to work with. And I really like that pretty much all of her listings are, you know, a la carte. So you can pick and choose what you, you know, what you need in a spread. All right, let's see. So we're on to Thursday, correct? The 14th. All right, so this was the last day of school. I'm going to mark that just with a um, quarter box. We'll use the balloons. And I pulled these little celebration foxes from Brianna Nicole Designs. I love them. You get so many stickers per sheet. So, of course, that deserves a celebration. And then um, I had another doctor's appointment. This is where my doctor's appointments got kind of cray. But before I do that, I'm going to put a full box in. And I think I want to use either the toucan or the flamingo. What do y'all think? Let's do the toucan. Let's put that little guy down. And let's see. Then I'm going to do an ombre and we'll do the purple. We're going to mark my doctor's appointment with a little bit doctor from my shop. I had what was called an NST done, which is a non-stress test. They hook you up to the monitor and then I've never had one before. And they look for fluctuations in the baby's heartbeat, which is a good thing. They want fluctuations. Um, I passed. My son's doing well at this time. Still doing well, still doing well, friends. Um, when I got home, um, my husband and my daughter were in the pool. So I'm gonna mark that with this little pool time script and image from Organized Magic. And we'll just put it here, kind of off to the side. Because remember I journal within here. And then lastly, in the evening, I started designing my galaxy kit. So for that, I'm going to just use another quarter box. And let's see, use that orange color. And that fit really nicely at the bottom, which is great. Because I really would like to use one of these washi strips. And to mark designing from Purple Bunny Prints, I'm going to use this purple design and then I'll just write in galaxy kit. Bring it up just a smidge and that's Thursday. All right, moving right along to Friday. Friday I'm off and I think that I want to start, hmm, let's start with an ombre. And we'll start with the pink just to keep things consistent. And on Friday, um, I started, the earliest notes I have is I was working on orders. So for that, I pulled these little silhouettes from Sticker Oki. And we're going to put it off here so it's not too close to celebration fox and let's see I also started laundry um, so for that I also have these from paper and gumption and I think I'm gonna do that reddish again Friday or Friday is usually my laundry day so let's see right there 
And then my husband and my daughter went into the pool again. It's too cold for me. It's a little too chilly for me, but um, that's all right. So to mark that, I'm going to use a, actually, I think I want to put a full box there. And let's do, let's do this purple here with the hibiscus. Just, I love these papers too that um, Brandy Shop used, I really do. And I think I'm going to use a half box and I'm going to put it up here. Let's see if that works. So I'm going to kind of cover that last um, heart. Oop, it's covering that dress. So let me just carefully lift. And there we go. And to mark that it was too cold for me, I'm going to use these um, little pool um, little bits in the baby pool. And I'm going to put it here. I have these in different sizes. Now that I'm looking at it, perhaps I should have pulled <laughs> another size, but that's okay. That's all right, friends. All right. So the last thing I have for Friday, the 15th, um, is my husband started working on our daughter's play structure, but I actually believe, I think I have a picture of that. So I'm going to save that for the weekend. Um, and then in the evening, I continued my reformat, um, but I don't think I'm going to mark that either, so I'm going to leave this open. Now that I'm looking at it, part of me wants to pull it up so I can move this full box down. I think I'm going to do that. Hold. All right. I was able to pull it up. I didn't tear the so much crafting paper underneath, believe it or not. I know. I can hardly believe it. All right, so um, we're going to move on to the weekend now. We're going to start with putting a header down or a piece of washi. And let's see, I haven't used these two, so we'll just kind of round it out. And we'll put one on for Saturday and one for Sunday. I do also have a weekend banner, but I probably will put that at the bottom. Just have to kind of see what the spread is looking like for the weekend. And on this Saturday, a little donut shop in the town I live in was giving the kids free Cookie Monster donuts. All kids who came in got a free Cookie Monster donuts. Let me see if you can. You can probably see it right there, the little blue guy. And then, of course, my husband picked me up a donut. And Kate got a unicorn donut. So I took a picture, and of course, I have to mark that. Um, the rest of the day, I kind of, or not the rest of the day, in the morning, I kind of just did not feel very good. Um, so I have these sick day little bits. I'm going to hold off because I don't know if um, I'm going to want to mark that. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. I'm going to put an ombre down, but I think I want to split up that space with another little strip of washi. I'm going to use some. Oh, I have some right here too. Keep that in mind. But we'll see because I also want to use a full box. So I might not put the ombre because I have I have the picture in here. So on Saturday after um, we had the donut, one of my husband's good friends came over and they worked on the play structure for like six hours. So what I think that I want to do, because like I did some stuff, my husband did some stuff. I think what I want to do to mark it is I'm going to use a quarter box to mark some of the things that I did. Like I went to the grocery store, even though I didn't feel very well. Things still got to get done, y'all, you know. And to mark the grocery store, I'm going to use the little shopping cart. 
Um, I sold some of my daughter's clothes on Facebook Marketplace. You know what I mean? Like some of that stuff is kind of boring. I know. And then um, to mark my husband and his friend working on the play structure, I'm going to use this three lip here and just journal that that occurred. And um, you know what? I have some uh, DIY little bits. I should pull those and put, add that in, but we'll wait. We will wait. Um, let's see. We did have pizza for dinner from our favorite pizza place. So I do want to mark that in some way. And I think to do that, mm, I'm going to use a flag. And let's see, let's use the pink. And let's see, I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to use these pizza stickers. And I'm going to put it, do I want to put it on top of the flag? No. I feel like it looks like a little Pac-Man. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's put it off to the side like this. And that looks kind of odd. That looks kind of odd, y'all. You know, let's put it on a piece of washi. Let's just put it on a piece of washi. Let's put it on this orange. So I'm gonna take these last two together, okay? And stack them. Oops, hello, hello. Work with me. Work with me. All right. Stop working with me. Try and get it straight, y'all. Try and get it straight, y'all. And then we'll put it here. And I'll write in here that we got pizza from our favorite place. And then we'll finish up the day with a full box and it should fit i really want to use the balloons let's use the balloon i might have to trim it just a smidge but i won't have to trim the balloon at all perfect i'm very happy with that so i will get my scissors once i'm done with sunday all right so sunday was father's day Oh, you know what? I think to mark the construction of the, um, the play structure, I pulled these. You got this. So I'm going to hold on to this in case I need to um, do something right here. So we'll just set them aside. All right. So Sunday was Father's Day. So I want to mark that. I'll put a half box and I'll write Happy Father's Day in there. And we were up early and we were tired. So to mark that, I pulled these little emojis, sleeping. I don't even know why we were up early, but we were. I don't know. It was a very hot day that day. We all got in the pool, which was fun. Um, and I did some more laundry. We started packing. It was, it was quite the busy day. Let's see. I'm gonna put an ombre. I think I'm going to use that lilac color, and that will be it for my ombres. I'm not going to need them anymore because it's the end of the week. So we all got in the pool. We did more laundry. So I'm using these from Imagine 320 Designs. And um, unfortunately, the shop is closed, but I'm sure you can find these stickers from or similar stickers from lots of different places. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have to make sure. So pool, put the laundry one right here. Okay, um, I tried to get my nails done. <gasps> I 
on Sunday and that was kind of a fail so I'm gonna put those put the little nail polish bottle from the kit but I'll probably like put an X or something next to it you know what I mean um, and then let's see we had leftovers for dinner that's kind of boring and then we actually went to sleep early believe it or not um, so to mark going to bed early I have these from Sticker Oki, so I'm gonna put a little strip of washi between the ombre, and then I do have a picture. Actually, you know what? I th think I'm gonna put the washi here. I do have the picture of the play structure, so I'm gonna put that down. Here. And these are about two inches tall, y'all, just in case you're wondering for size reference. My daughter really enjoyed helping my husband put the structure together, which I thought was adorable. And then I'm going to finish it up with a full box, and I think I'm going to use the flamingo. And I'm not going to chop my daughter off, don't worry, y'all. But I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it overlaps. And I will cut the bottom part off, which shouldn't be too much. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to use these. I'm not going to have the space. Um, we can put the You Got This now down. And we'll put it right here. And I'm going to get my scissors to trim. Ooh. Make sure my frame but my sisters to trim off this excess. Be right back. All right, friends. So this is the finished spread before I start journaling. Um, so we've got Monday, Tuesday. I filled in this bottom with washi. Um, I was able to use one washi strip here. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, you know what? Before we go, let me pop in my weekend banner and we're just going to put it here on the bottom on the very very bottom there we go um i really really like how this turned out let's go through the um, pieces of the kit that i have remaining so i used five out of the eight ombres not bad Almost all the full boxes, a lot of the miscellaneous boxes, quite a bit of the washi. I do have one full washi strip left, so that would look, you know, that would do nicely in another spread. And then I have quite a bit of the functional pieces left, um, just because I used so many different um, stickers and character stickers and things like that. So, um, yeah, but uh, if you enjoyed this rewind plan with me um, scrapbook kind of style with lots of um, decorative elements and character stickers and pictures um, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below all of the shops that um, I mentioned will be in the description box if I can find them or if they're still open and um, I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful day and we'll chat soon bye bye y'all